guys and welcome back to another video. I've got quite a bit to do and get on with. I've got fenders to release, fenders to make, I've got an E30 bumper to make. I've got moulds I need to finish off. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. Oh and I've got my got the little air ducts I need to finish off as well. So I'm gonna start off today by getting two more layers on the skirt mould. So I can then move on to getting the E30 bumper done. Then I'll move on to the rear over fenders for the compact. Hopefully by which time I can get back on this, get the last two layers on this. That can then cure. And hopefully I can get it popped off, uh, trimmed and popped off today. So yeah, let's see what we can get up to today. Right, that is the two ends laid up. Now I don't quite know what's going on with my resin. I've opened up a fresh keg of resin. And I mean, those, those of you who don't laminate won't know won't be able to see what I mean, but this is extremely viscous and extremely translucent. It's not what it's not what Arapol should look like. But I've still gone with it. So that, that is uncatalyzed that I just left out there. Here's the catalyzed bucket, and even when it's catalyzed in green, it's still extremely viscous. And another thing I've noticed, even after soaking up all the excess. Uh, you can't really see can you there we go it's the resin is starting to pull in that radius down there so I'm going to get back out here with a brush and soak all this up again because yeah the resin shouldn't be running out of it like that I'm now starting to worry that I might start getting dry matte as the resin runs out of it so I need to keep an eye on this resin that is not great so I'm going to soak up this excess and then I'm going to lay up the E30 rear bumper Fingers crossed today goes all right, because uh, it's fucking hot again. Don't know how long I'll be here today, so. Wish me luck, guys. Is the E30 bumper all laid up? I had to get my uh, my trusty light out at the end because if I take that away, it's just all shadow in there. And it's extremely dark, and there's a lot of radiuses I need to chase air out of. So even though it looks like a fairly simple component, actually quite a lot of rolling involved. And unfortunately, I didn't catch the gel at the right time to get enough choppies on while it was still sticky. It lost its stickiness. So keeping choppies up here in that top bit, I have a feeling I might have an air bubble in that very tippy toppy corner there, but we can fill that, that's not a problem. So that is done, that will need green trim, I'll keep an eye on that. Um, next we will, uh, yeah, I'll lay up the compact over fenders and then I will release these. So. Don't know if I'll do any more filming, but yeah, let's get these made. And that is the compact over fenders all laid up. And it hang around for these green trim. And the reason I say hang around is because I have just gashed my thumb open. I'm not gonna show you. Because uh, you know, YouTube won't let me post the video. But yeah, so I'll tell you how I did it and I'll show you how it happened and you can sort of see where the knife is still sitting. So I was trying to green trim the E30 rear bumper. As you can see it was all going really, really nicely. And then we were starting to get a bit tough. And uh, I was on the down stroke. I was holding it down here. And this knife is, um, hang on, let me just... Oh, there we go. That knife is in there and my thumb was in the path of that knife and well no I can't, I can't show you so it's gone down so I've gone straight down through the nail and out of the 
you know, tip of my thumb. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Um, I'm going to try and keep the camera up. Okay, now. Don't worry, I'm going to have a sit down in a minute. But I'm purely waiting, yeah, waiting around for these fenders to go off. If this thumb, I'm purely waiting around for these fenders to go off so I can green trim them. But if this thumb gives me a little bit of a break, I need to try and get the last two layers on this mold. This was the uh, from the resin this one. I thought it was a very viscous and very translucent. And like I thought, can you see that? That's resin run. So the resin has actually ran out of the mat. So um, that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but I'm, luckily the first layer has gone down and that is the main support for the mold surface. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the problem when you've got really liquidy resin or resin that's been in a hot area. Actually, I think what's happened to mine, this is, it is roasting in here. And I think that's what's happened. It's got really, really warm. And yeah, it's it simply ran out of, ran out of the mat. I'll just let it sit there so you can focus on it. Rather than being all nice and, trying to do it with that shadow. You see the base there? It's all like one consistent, nice dark color. And you move up here, especially where we've got an overlap. And down there, it's just all ran out of it. This side don't look too bad. Yeah, what's this side look like? Well, this side don't look too bad. I know I haven't got my light with me, I'm doing all this one handed now. Um, so, yeah, runny resin runs out of the mat, unfortunately, sometimes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a sit down and a break and uh, touch these over fenders. I reckon these over fenders will be ready in about 15 20 minutes. Green trim then and evaluate what I want to do. Catch you, uh, catch you in a bit. And that is the compact over fenders now green trimmed. My thumb is, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna let you see too much detail, but you can see it's pretty manky. But I'm going to keep going, I've just been, each time it's, each time it bursts open I've just got to go wash it, hold it under a compress till it stops bleeding, let it dry up, blah de, blah de, blah and then go again. I've got stuff I need to get done and I can't let this stop me. So next on the list I need some room in here, so I'm going to release these uh, coupe rear over fenders and get the moulds outside chuck the compact over fenders on the floor in their place and get the front compact overs on the table and get them started and uh, also Richard's side scope mould that can now have the last two layers on each end that hurts like fuck you can have the last two layers on each end and then uh, I doubt it will be today but definitely tomorrow that will be getting trimmed and released and then I'll have more space so uh, yeah, I'm gonna pop these out and uh, keep going guys. So the rear compact over fenders, they're now on the floor curing. I've got the front over fenders on the bench and I'm gonna get these waxed up and gelled up. And then while the gel is curing, I'll get onto the side skirt, get this finished. And then probably chuck the E30 bumper somewhere because that'll be near enough cured and ready to come out. It's crazy hot in here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get these gelled up. And there we go. So that is the front over fenders gelled up. 
and I nearly forgot to get the rear over fender, sorry not the rear over fender spats, the rear bumper spats for the M Sport version as this customer has the M Sport. Um, my rear over fenders, just so you're aware, my rear over fenders include the bumper flare for the SE model of bumper. These are replacements for these, you cut these off, fit these instead if you have the M Sport. So unfortunately for the front, I didn't get to do bumper, bumper flares for the SE model, just M Sport. Hence why I've been spending the last good few weeks now developing an M Sport front bumper worth moulding. The mould is down there in pieces waiting to be attended to. But I've got to get this compact kit rushed out to a customer who's picking this up. Well, I want him to come pick it up tomorrow because he wants to get it fitted to his kit. Fitted to his car, his son's car, on the weekend. Was, uh, felt like a family family thing so uh, yeah I said yeah I'll get that rush to you and uh, yeah get that done I've also got two sets of rear over fenders I need to get sanded down one of which is a facelift model one of which will be going on a pre facelift model which still needs development so that's coming very soon so I'll get one of these packaged up and sent off really soon so uh, I'm now going to chuck the last two layers on Richard's side skirt mould so that tomorrow I can just drill it, trim it, pop it out and have some more table space. Um, my thumb is, is, is holding in there. It's, um, it's not bursting open as often anymore. The gloves, the, the latex gloves seem to be holding it together pretty well. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to keep plodding on, I'll get this side step done and uh, see what we fancy doing next. I don't know where the camera was pointing then. <laughs> and there we have it. That mould has now got all its gel, all its glass, everything is moulded. I just need to wait for this to cure and I will drill all the joining, drill out all the joining flanges and get it trimmed tomorrow and get that on the sanding bench and start getting that wet and dried when I get a chance and the important thing is Richard wants the actual side skirts back so he can get them painted up and fitted to the car for a show in like a week or two. He's picking them up in like within this week I think. So yeah main thing was to get the moulds finished and so he can get the side skirts back. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chuck the choppies on these because the gel coat has gone off quite nicely on these with a perfect amount of tack to chuck choppies on so uh, yeah let's do that and uh, yeah my thumb is still holding up okay. Just about. Let's do this. So there you go, that's simple as that. The choppies are now on. I'm now gonna cut the mat for these so I can get these laid up because the kit is being picked up tomorrow. He doesn't know it yet, but it's being picked up tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, cut some mat, get these laid up, and then we'll pop out the E30 rear bumper. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where we're at. We'll see where we're at. About half five now. Plan on being here a good few more hours, because now that it's cooling down, we can actually, I can actually speed up a bit without cooking myself. So yeah, get these fenders made, pop out the bumper, see where we're at. And that is the front end of the compact kit all laid up. Once I, uh, oops, sorry, once it's ready for its green trim, I'll hit it with a knife. A little bump, the rear bumper spats as well. Once they're ready, hit that with a knife. Now I'll pop them out tomorrow, sand the edges, customer can come get them. Happy days. With a little bit of the leftover resin from that job. A little touch up on this compact rear there was a bit of an air bubble in the corner it was open at the edge sorry about my shadow it was open at the edge so I've been able to force some resin in there so yeah that won't pop out now hopefully so now it is time to release the E30 bumper so I'm just gonna move this out of the way and uh, yeah get that popped up pop this out hopefully it should just Yeah, 
There we go. That came out lovely, like literally no effort whatsoever. Happy days. That has come out, yep, very nice. So let's get that trimmed tomorrow. It's a bit late in the evening now to get the grinder out. I've got a, th a few things that I need to trim now, including the side skirt mold now that that's finished. So there's gonna be a lot of trimming and sanding tomorrow, unfortunately for me. Oh, I hate sanding so much. Hence why this stuff starts to pile up and then I just do it all in one hit. But yeah, right, let's move on to the next thing, um, which is tidying up, making space. <laughs> oh, it is getting a bit, whoa, it is getting a bit rammed in here. It is still crazy hot in this workshop. I have already been able to green trim the front end of the compact kit. So that's mental, but at least I don't have to worry about that now. That's done. That can now all cure popped out tomorrow morning and sanded so I've decided now it's best to get back on the compact bumper so this is the first half of the compact bumper we've got a few sections of filler that decide to hang in there so I'm going to get removing them and then it needs a wash because it's still got PVA release agent on there which is water soluble give it a good wash and then uh, yeah we'll start tidying it up so I've got, got some rebuilding to do there but nothing too hard. Thankfully I still have a little bit of upsweep on that end so I know what angle I'm going at. So yeah, I'm going to uh, chip all this crap off, give it a wash and uh, yeah, get sanding pretty much. Let's do it. Right, that'll do. I'll get the rest of the sandpaper. So I'm gonna take it to the side, wash it, bring it back in, and uh, start sanding. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. So I don't know where the camera was pointing there. Mm -hmm. That is the first half of the compact mold. Now finished off with a 320 grit sandpaper. It's now just drying off. I've just taken that side, give it a wash. Now because I have a repair here, I'm not gonna do it. Do the final 600 grade. I'll be doing that repair first. So I'm going to leave this to one side and I'm going to work my way through all the other bits so they're in the same stage as this. Then do all the repairs because there's bound to be a couple of bits here and there on the other bits. And um, yeah, get them all to this stage, then repair them all, then finish them all off. So yeah, I'm going to work my way through the rest of this stuff now. It is now five past eight in the evening. So I'm going to keep going for another hour, I reckon, and see how much of this I can get sanded down. So yeah. Good. Right, so I am done for the day now. I've done a little bit more rubbing down on the compact bumper. So I've got section number two in. I've given it a wash down and I've just been working on some some nasty areas which have been taking me a while to get down. But I'm finally there and I can now use the uh, the finer grades of sandpaper. That's a, that was me hitting it with 80 grit. So yeah, that's gonna do it for me today, guys. It is now, well, it's coming up to nine o'clock. I'm happy with the progress today. Even with, even with the gammy thumb. But accidents happen when you're not paying attention. So yeah, I'm going to uh, let the transition do its thing and I'll see you tomorrow. Right, welcome back, you lovely lot. It is a fresh day. It is now Thursday. I wanna get lots done today because I plan on having tomorrow away from the unit at home getting stuff done at home getting stuff cleared up and whatnot because uh, I've got a lot going on behind the scenes so to start off with today I'm going to release the compact over fenders and get the moulds out of the way so that I've got a bit more space in here because I'm tripping over myself constantly um, and then I'm going to yeah I've got some orders to do Let's release this and I'll come back to you with what I'm doing next.
Right, that is the compact kit all released, now waiting to be sanded. This is first priority this morning because I'm now about to message the customer and tell him this will be available to pick up in a couple of hours because he's desperate to pick this up as soon as possible. He doesn't think he's picking them up till tomorrow, so it's going to be a nice little trick for him. So yeah, I've got a mountain of sanding to do today, not just finishing parts, but I've also got a load of trimming to do. And I've also got those ports I really want to finish today. So. I'm going to try and avoid laying up any gel or glass today unless I have trimmed and sanded and prepped everything else that needs doing and so let's get into this I've got a mountain of sand to get done so I'm going to move the compact bumper to the end of the table make use of this table as my temporary sanding bench because this sanding bench has still got the Turo moulds on there I don't want to move them at the moment because if I move them out of the way They'll be put to one side and I'll uh, forget about doing them for ages. So that's all done. That's the compact kit, all sanded down, ready for the customer to collect. Um, I'm going to give him a message, see if he wants to pick up today. If he does, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the compact outside, tape it to the car so when he turns up, I'm assuming with his son, because the kit is for his son and for his son's car. I'm thinking if they turn up and the kit is taped to the car and he can just see the kit with his own eyes there already on a car, then that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty cool for the young lad. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give the guy a message, see if he wants to come today, and then uh, yeah, have another little move around, see if I can get my neighbour across the ways there to help me uh, push or pull the tour out. So uh, yeah, let's uh, just give him a message and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so we've pulled all the cars out, we've got the compact out, so I'm going to quickly take this up before the guy turns up today, he's coming about 12 to get the kit, so I'll chuck it on here quickly for him, so let's see what it looks like, oh I miss having all this space, alright let's chuck the kit on this car, alright so I've chucked the kit on just quickly, just with some masking tape, it has reminded me that I haven't finished off the filler cap cover yet, so I just need to quickly sand the edge of that. I have multiples of them just sat waiting. So yeah, let's have a, let's have a little look. Oh yeah, and I couldn't add the uh, bumper flares either because this bumper is an SE bumper, and the bumper flares that I made are for the M Sport. Yeah, so look, there's 30 mil wider at the front, 60 mil wider at the rear. The rear includes the SE. It includes the SE bumper bit as one, but this kit does come with an M Sport um, option as well. You just have to cut this off and fit the M Sport portion that comes with it. Every kit comes like that. One day I might get round to developing the uh, the spats for this bumper. I might have to. There has been a lot of call cool for them. So if you try and if you try and I mean, forgive me for these being black. But if you try and eye these up, you just, yeah, it's just not, not happening. No which way Sunday. I mean, maybe if you pop that trim off, it might sit in, but no. I need to redo this, which is probably something I'm going to do. Because chances are this whole car is going to end up leaving here with every compact component that I do. Just to pay Matt handsomely so as I can do whatever I want with the car and that involves you know, sanding the car, modifying the car because whatever I do at that front bumper it don't matter because that bumper will have to go in the bin and then I'll make him one of my new ones yeah and that's the way it goes he lends me stuff people lend me stuff I sort you out handsomely so yeah 
I'm now gonna have a little break. Wait for the customer to turn up at about 12. He should either pull in down that driveway or pull in through there. Either way, he's gonna see the car sat here with his kit fitted so he can get a great, great eye of exactly how wide it is because there's a major arch gap. Yeah, 60 mil is still pretty damn wide. And then that over there is 90 mil wider at the rear which is crazy that's 30 mil wider at the rear and that one there is 30 mil wider at the rear so we've only got two big wide bodies at the moment i don't want to make more e36 coupe coming soon that is like what i need to get done that's what i want to get done but the money's in the compact apparently so i've got to get that done but yeah as soon as i get the uh, facelift or as soon as i get the bonnet done for gaffer man for his saloon and for his coupe have a lot more space so yeah i'm gonna have a break catch you in a bit guys right seeing as i now have a bit of head space in here and i've said i'm going to do a whole day of sanding i've set myself up a chair the table right in the middle i'm now going to turn the music up and get to work on these two ports so now i need a good rub down i've been working away on this one a little bit so some of it's already starting to get smoothed in but I've got all of that to go in there, try and get that all nice and smooth. So yeah. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll see you in a bit guys. And just like that, the compact is naked again. <laughs> the customer has already been and gone. He is very happy. His son is very happy. Yeah, he is exceptionally happy. So yeah, I am now back inside. I have been working on the ports. They've now had a second skimmer filler. So hopefully one will rub that and that will be done. So uh, yeah, let's go back to work, see what else we can get done. Alright, there we go, that is the ports. Oh, hang on, I think I'm a bit dusty on the old lens. Right, that is the ports done. These were just a quick job. These will get a quick look of paint. Where's the light? Hang on, let me, let me get over to the light. But yeah, so I've smoothed off in there done the repairs and this is now I've been finishing a 180 grit wet sanded and then uh, yeah I'm now going to walk these round to them drop them off and uh, we'll come back and we'll trim this next yes alright so the side skirt mould is now outside apologies for the poor light and I'm trying to hide in the shade it's stupid hot again so uh, I'm trying to figure out where to get you guys set up I think I'll be here, and yeah. Time for me to get geared up, cook myself alive, and get this trimmed. I hate trimming so much. Look at the state of me. Look at it. And shit. On to the next thing. Yep, so there we have it. The skirt is all trimmed. I've now brought it in. Ready to drill all the holes, which I'll do off camera. And then we'll release this. So I'll probably put you guys up there again. And uh, yeah, get it released. So uh, I'll get back to you once I've drilled all the holes out. All the holes are now drilled. So, uh, yeah. Let's pop the towel. Sorry, I'm eating a sweet. Mm. 
Alright, there we have it. It all came out pretty nice. Again, we have the paint pickle. This main portion actually came out really nice. I haven't actually spotted anything wrong with this bit just yet. Tiny imperfection there, which just have a rub out. This part's looking pretty good. Um, the base, yeah, it looks just as bad as the first one. But again, nothing that can't be fixed. But priority now, I mean, I'll clean all the plasticine off this, but priority now is to get these two skirts cleaned up, all the muck taken off them, all the hot glue taken off them, and get them ready for Richard to pick up because he needs them painted and fitted to his F22 because he's attending the show really, really soon. So. Yeah, I'm going to clean these moulds up quickly, stack them away, and uh, make a start on cleaning up these skirts. Alright, I know you can't tell, but both skirt moulds are now here, stacked up. Both, both the skirts have now been tidied up, and they're ready to be collected. I've just been messaging Richard, and um, obviously he'd much rather make one trip. So I am now going to blitz through these as quick as I can and get these done, ready for him to collect Monday. Obviously I'm not here tomorrow because I'm doing stuff and then I've got the kids Friday night, all the Saturday. So the plan is Sunday is going to be all day on these skirt moulds getting them ready. So yeah, I've, had, I've started having a little bit of a rub down just to take the top, well just to see where my low points are. So everywhere is white. I need to route out. So every little divot I need to route out. So I can't have paint in there when I gel over the top of it. Because it's going to need a gel repair. There's no, <clears throat> no what's about it. It's so deep it needs a gel repair. I can't just rub it out. I can rub most of it out. But I do need to get the router out and give it a rub, good rub down. This one I haven't yet touched with the sandpaper. So you can see it's all still very white on the top main face of the mould. So yeah. Now that I've been looking through all the pieces, these are the worst two pieces. These are the pieces that are going to require gel repairs. The rest of it I should be able to get away with a heavy wet and dry. So let's, uh, let's see how well I can get these looking before Richard turn up Monday. Ooh. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse of me dremeling all this out. I was using a, a proper metal bird tip, not one of these, uh, not one of them that eats. Glass actually eats through these quite quickly. So anyway, that is all the imperfections taken out. Like I said, thankfully these are the worst two bits, the rest of it I should be able to get out just by hand. So these have now had an acetone clean to make sure there is no grease or leftover wax or leftover spots of paint in there. And it's now time to mix up just a spot of black gel coat, skim it in there and uh, hopefully that will be cured by Sunday when I come in and that's going to be all day Sunday getting them ready. So yeah, I'm going to mix up some gel coat and we'll slap that in and that's going to end my day and this episode so yeah let's mix up some gel coat and uh yeah i'll let you watch me try and skim this in as neatly as i can Right, unfortunately, hang on, let me change my light. Unfortunately, my uh, memory card ran out of battery right at the last moment. And now I've ruined the light and we can't see nothing. Let's try that again. So, that's as smooth as I'll get it with the skim. Trying to, trying to get a good angle where the light's not going to absolutely destroy it. Yeah, I've got that as smooth as I can, so that'll get a good block down. I'm just lucky this is completely flat, and this is 
completely flat also so these shouldn't take too long so these are now have a good day or so to cure and uh, yeah I'll come back to them Sunday so that is going to do it for me today that is going to do it for me for this episode I hope you enjoyed I hope you want to see more I hope you want to subscribe hit us a like if you like the video and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one guys stay safe love you all peace